Did you eat, Knuckle? I'm talking to you. Whew, what an exhausting day. Knuckle! Whew, what a weird dream. Wait, where's Knuckle? One of the things that I was lacking in this pack early on was a good food source. So in getting going, there's a part that introduces this, a taste of Iceland. This is the best food source early on, as far as I can tell. So I made a fish farm. Because in order to make this hard fisker, which does wonders for your food, and your saturation. You need fish. Like a lot of fish. So I made a cod farm. Everywhere on here, if I look at the map, let me zoom in on this little area here. You're in an ocean biome. So as long as you have three source blocks of water, or three blocks of water high, I don't even think they necessarily have to be source blocks. Fish will spawn in here, cod. There they go. Boom. I have fence gates underneath here. They fall through the fence gate. Then when I fall down here, I can show you where they fall. I haven't fallen into this waterfall right here. Eight blocks wide. Boom. Then they get pushed and go into here and they die in here because there's no water. All these funnels face towards this box here, this chest. Boom. They get put in here. Let me grab a stack of these. And let me show you where Knuckle is. He wanted to keep an eye out on the fish farm. So he asked me to build him a litter box right here. Good oh boy. Have a fish. If you take these fish and you put them into a drying cupboard with power, you end up with this stuff right here. Hard Fisker. So what else did the chapter involve? Basically like a sky block. You need to make hammers, sieves, and I completed all this because I figured nobody really wants to watch me break blocks with a hammer. I moved all the resource generation outside. That's outside for now. Eventually, this is all going to be in a warehouse type looking thing. So, sieved, broke blocks, got every block imaginable, and then made singularities with them generating every block that I can right now with a singularity and resource generator. And then over here, we got ingots being made. Six different things we can get to right now. Copper, zinc, a couple other ones. But when you make the singularity for each specific resource, here's copper. This makes copper chunks, right? Copper chunks go into this, go through a hopper, into a furnace on the top and they're getting smelted in here. I have coal singularities in these resource generators here that are feeding the furnaces to keep this constantly going. And we're building up all our resources right here. Eventually what I'm gonna do once we get to that point is I'll put a drawer controller right here, boom. And then we could tie that into our ME system or whatever type of system we're gonna end up using. Stay out of my dreams. I saved the best part of the getting going chapter for you guys. We need the pulverizer. And we get to make loud noises. Boom. We're gonna put this guy right here for now. Steve, no. Water Moon, welcome to the outpost. The next chapter, getting creative, allows us to use the create mod to get iron. Iron nuggets. We got to wash gravel. All right, we're going to use water wheels for power for now. So this is a three by three area and I have 12 water wheels. We got blocks on the top here, which I'm going to put water source blocks on there to spin the water wheel. Notice how when I put this water wheel down, these fins are facing that direction. So we want the water to flow down and around. It drops down into here. And then after I place all these in this water, I'll show you what we do to get the max speed out of them. Block here, block there. Now let me go up top here. Go up top with some water buckets. 
pop this down. Notice how it's been at 192 stress units, right? I'm going to fill this all in, all the way across. And then we'll get the max out of it, which is 256 for now. Alright, so the water is running around the water wheel this way. And this part is open on the bottom. So what we need to do is we're going to dig out this side right here. Then if we take a bucket of water, it's spinning at 192 now. I can't even get in here to show you. It's spinning at 192 now. So if we take a bucket of water, put it right there, and then pull the bucket out. Boom, it's at 256. So now we're at max speed. Put it there, pull it out. There, pull it out. Do that for each one of these wheels. Come out of there with a shaft. Big cog. Little cog down low. Boom, we got some rotational force to work with. Now let me set some fans up. Alright, we're going to pull power from this cog wheel here at the bottom. So we're going to go... Boom, gearbox, shaft to get around this wall. Up another gearbox there. F shaft. Then we'll put our first fan. Let's put our first fan right here. Start using the wrench because that makes sense, does it not? Boom. Direction does that spin? Blowing out. Perfect. This guy connected just like so. You're pulling, so that is not the case. Ready to go like that. Boom. You're blowing out. Perfect. So we'll do water here, campfire here, and lava here once I get lava. Pop three depots down just like so. Then we need to block this water in. Do that. I have a bucket on me? I do. Let's see if this works. We need some gravel. We're going to do it stack at a time. The way they show you in the quest book is cool that they show you an actual way to do this. Because a lot of people, I feel like, get confused by the create mod and they just don't want to touch it. But this way would wash one gravel per time because you're limited right now on how much you can pull out of a drawer or a chest by your funnel. It's only going to pull out one piece at a time. We're going to wash stacks of gravel at a time because eventually what I want to do is I want to get enough iron nuggets to make enough ingots to make a deal for over there so we could just keep mass producing iron. Let's pop this water in there. And if we take stack of gravel, why do I hear ugly people? They're inside my water wheel. <laughs> Boom. Stack of gravel goes right on there. That's getting washed. Takes 30 seconds to wash a stack, by the way. How did zombies spawn inside my water wheel? Really? And fish. There's fish in there too. Lovely. Are you done washing yet? You are. Cool. All right. I'll take your care of the zombie deal in a little bit. But now we got iron nuggets. Why didn't loud noises happen? I want to do this. Boom. Thank you. I have iron nuggets. Now check this out. This is pretty cool. It said if you grab wikidium chunks. Put the wikidium chunk in the transmutation chamber along with iron nuggets and boom what do we get we get iron grit what do you do we need to bulk blast you into so each nugget turns into an ingot by doing it this way with the wikidium chunk in a transmutation chamber that's pretty solid i like that we need 160 ingots to make the iron quantum singularity. We need to make an unfired crucible because we need lava now. Clay ball, bone mill, boom, you get porcelain clay. We need sand, gravel.
We're out. Boom. We can make an unfired crucible. Now we have to fire it. And I believe if I put a torch under it, let's do this over here. Lava won't burn my building, right? No. Fill it with gravel. Copper. Should make lava. It is. Put a campfire in front of the one fan. So now we can cook right here. Clean right here. We're about to be able to smelt right here. If there's enough lava inside this crucible. Boom. We got hot stuff. We made an advancement. Loud noises. Pop this lava down right here. Boom. We can smelt right here. Stack of that. Pop it on here. And we should be mass smelting. Dark. Scared. Check on our fish farm. Okay, it's doing. And boom, we got a stack of ingots. Loud noises. Get this. Boom. There you go. We finished the chapter. What does that open up? Okay, it says it unlocks getting immersed, getting mechanized, digging up the dirt, and power to the person. Boom. Should be enough to make a singularity. There we go. Have an iron quantum singularity. All right, let's set this up. Pop you right there. You're going to make iron. Iron chunks. Take a drawer. Pop a drawer down right here. Take a hopper. Hopper into the drawer. Drop down. We're going to take a furnace. Pop a furnace down right here. We're going to build back up again. Boom, you go into the furnace. A hopper there. Actually, let's go right here. Use another one of these guys, resource generator. Pop it right there. You're going to make coal. And you're going to feed the coal into the furnace. You're making us iron ingots. Perfect. Now have an unlimited supply of iron ingots. Boom. We've reached that point where it's only fitting for Knuckle and I to say goodbye from his brand new litter box. Have a fish. Wave. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching, folks. Have fun and peace!